Hey guys, how's it going? As the usual. Um, now is the time that today I'm going to show you how you could change your lampshades and install some new LED lights. So what you're going to need is LED strips, 12 volt of any um, numbers that come in. You can find most of them on eBay or sometimes Amazon. And also what you're going to need is some LED connectors. So whenever you're uh, connecting your LEDs together, you know, strips to get LED strips together, sorry, that, you know, you're cutting three by three and you also need heat shrink tubes. So this way the wires don't get exposed. And uh, you're also going to need some food covers whatsoever to cut them into uh, lampshades. Either you could make it clear or covered up so the LEDs don't be exposed when putting them on so let's get to it okay so let's get started with the LED strip what I have here is a 50-50 LED strip in an ice blue color so what you're gonna do is just cut it in three as you could see the orange right there it's fairly simple so just so I could put it in the um, LED connectors there you go then next you want to put them in a LED strip connector so make sure you read the um, positive and negative the positive is the red one and the negative is the black one so just slide it in there easy and make sure the, the whole thing connects together and then just close it up and that's it Here's the tricky part to put them like the blue LED strips originally on the hoverboard. You're gonna have to cut the uh, the second um, you know LED connector in half, so this way you could start putting the positive and the negative together. So that's what I'll show in the next clip. Okay, as you could see, I twist the, the two wires together, positive and positive, negative and negative. So this way matches and let's move on to the next one now to the next step now this is from the blue LED light you know that came with all pretty much all the hoverboards that came with and it's a three wiring system so basically the LED strip only needs two just to power the whole LED strips so that's another thing um, remember positive is the red negative is the black but this is like a like a purplish but it's still a negative um you can actually hook the the black one on either one of them either the middle one you could take or this one because it really doesn't need three wirings it it only needs two so it's whatever you want to hook it up with and then afterwards you're going to need to cover the third wire with uh, heat shrink tubes or anything like that so that's another thing okay now as you can see I'm twisting the wires up it's fairly simple you know positive to positive which is the red and then negative to negative which is the black wirings so um, if you guys want to solder it up there are tutorials on how to do it, but it just takes a lot of equipment. But, you know, I do it other ways around just to cover the wires. And as you can see, I got the heat shrink tubes ready just to cover it up without soldering it. But it'll still work since I've already tested out the LED strips that they're all connected. So that's all I did. So now the heat shrink tube is ready. And I'll show you how to use the heat shrink tubes, how to shrink it to cover this uh, exposed twisted wire. So now what you're gonna need is a simple hair dryer, air dryer, blow dryer, whatever you, want, you guys wanna call it, doesn't matter. And um, you're gonna have to set it to heat setting mode, like right over here, so you can uh, shrink the tubes in a heating temperature, which so, since I know it's gonna sound loud. So now it's on a heating setting putting it as close as I can to the heat shrink tube so they'll shrink faster 
instead of using a lighter. Higher settings is also recommended, but still, you do not want to burn the LED strip or the, you know, the sheets. See? Just like that. Closer to whatever you could put on it so they could shrink faster. There you go. And that's how you shrink uh, your heat shrink tubes. As you can see how it's, uh, there's a twisted wire over here that's been closed up. So this way it doesn't touch the, the, the motherboard or any other circuits, so it doesn't short out anything. And so that's how you do it. You can see I got done with the second one. Um, let it cool off first before you start uh, the installation whatsoever to put it on your hoverboard. And the next one, I'm going to show you guys how to connect them together with the new um, lampshades that I've recently done using the food container, which um, is very, very easy. All you need is a pair of scissors to, you know, cut it all around. It's not that hard, so I'm sure you guys will get this. And then just uh, cut them into sheets like this, so this way you're ready to put it in a, a new lampshade the LEDs. I've already tested it out and it could see through it so it's fairly bright. This way you guys don't have to worry about the, the dark uh, black shades or the blue shades that you guys have. So all you got to do is get one of these food containers in white or you could do them sorry you could do them in a clear form as well even though the LED strips will get exposed. So, by the way, but with this, that's going to cover the LED strips so they won't be seen. So, I would highly recommend these. They kind of look like papers, but you know, that's what it is. Okay, as you can see, I'm about to put the new lampshade into the, the whole board. You guys could use uh, super glue or clear tape like this one, so this way you could hold it up. I had to like bend the sheet a little bit so this way it can be round shape and fit the size of it and and you could see it's already fitting in perfectly so and uh, I'll just show you how that's done so like I said super glue could glue it all around using a Loctite whatsoever so it could hold it in or just use a simple um, clear tape so it doesn't uh, you know block the whole thing Okay, as you can see, it's taped in all the way, and look how it looks. Clear lampshade, although it's like a covered clear lampshade, whatever, but you get the whole point. So that's pretty much it when it comes to taping it or using super glue. Doesn't matter, so that's how you clear it up, or you know, put in a new lampshade. So now the other tricky part is putting the LED strips on the lampshade using tape or super glue. So I'm sure you guys will get this you know, in my next clip. So as you can see I had to put the clear tape first and then use the uh, gray tape to cover it all up and then I'll super glue it as well. You could see now the LED strips are put in, covered it up with tape. Super glue can be recommended to just um, glue it around the tape so it'll be fully sealed up. Okay, so now we're going to test out the um, the new LED strips that are on the new lampshade as well. See how bright it goes. Bam! There you go. So that's pretty much how you could uh, put new colors on and then install the new lampshade on your hoverboard or those people will call them Segway, Smart Balance Wheels, whatever, doesn't matter. So that's uh, that concludes the tutorial and then I'll show you how you could put it back together as well since I only did the, um, you know, just uncover the bottom part of it. So that's going to come next. Put the plugs back 
where they were at correctly so this way you can start the process of uh, putting the shell back in and then screwing it up so that'll be it okay as you can see I'm putting all the screws back in where they were again so you know just another simple thing Yeah, don't mind about that. Oops. The long screws go on the ends, like right here and there, so it could fully seal up. And while the smaller screws can go on the other ones. So that's pretty much it. And there you go. All screwed back in and ready to go.